what it is. This is your boy A Space coming at you with another spotlight fight. One, two, three. And tonight in the spotlight, Devin Haney versus Mikey Garcia about that no one wants. Let's get into it right now. And we know Mikey Garcia was supposed to make his ring comeback in September. That fell through. Now in October, that, that also fell through. through. And Devin Haney's in a similar position, looking for opposition. opposition. And Richard Comey or Giovanni, these are two opponents that he's looking to mix it up with in the ring. Because as we know, his mandatory opponent, which is Jojo Diaz, does not want to fight him or does not want to activate his mandatory for the WBC title. He rather go and fight. Drum roll, Drum roll please. please. Ryan Garcia. That's who Jojo Diaz wants next instead of Devin Haney, which makes no sense to me since Ryan Garcia is out, out due, due to, to mental health issues yes ladies and gentlemen he is not right in the head and during quarantine you know that's what happens a lot of people d get in their head and they're you know they're a little bit off hey that's all cool but you're coming back until when ryan garcia you said 2022 that is a couple months away so why not fight, fight. jojo diaz uh, haney until that time and then fight a ryan garcia that's what I don't understand. But I was lucky enough to ask Bill Haney. You, you know, know much, much respect, respect to him and Black, Black and Brown Boxing for letting me jump on the channel and the panel. And I asked, what if your son moved up to 140? Who would be the fight? Hmm. Do you want to get a question in? Yeah, yeah. What's going on, Black and Brown? How's everybody doing tonight? Good, brother. Good. Uh, man, much love to you for always showing love to my channel, bro. I appreciate you, Black and Brown. For sure, Honestly, man. bro. Uh, bro, Haney, it's an honor to talk to you. Bro. Um, how are you doing today? Oh, both ways, brother. I appreciate you. Spotlight, thank you. Um, I just wanted to ask, I always bring up this question constantly, but now that I do have the man present here on Black and Brown's channel, I do want to ask you, since everybody is ducking at 135, is there any plans for Haney to move to 140? Maybe he'll get a couple more fights than he is getting at 140. 35 because it seems like even if you do get the mandatory position they're not accepting the fight or they're looking for other routes to go instead of fighting Devin Haney I used to be a believer that you know Devin Haney they were they were pumping them up a little bit isn't that but as it goes on and as it continues there's no way to look look um look look at it different ways because they are dodging Devin Haney that is the truth out here so I would just I just wanted to ask is there any any plans of maybe moving up yeah, well, I'll talk, I'll, talk, I'll talk to Eddie. I'll talk to Eddie today. And, um, and, I've, and I've said it before that a fight that, that Devin, uh, that we're growing and, and moving towards is the Mikey Garcia fight. Devin wants to fight Mikey, Mikey now, right? I, I don't want him to fight Mikey right now, right? I don't be doing no faking and no playing and shit like that. Mikey, uh, Mikey was in there with Earl Spence, a true 47-pounder. And, and 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 Earl didn't stop him, you know. So I watched him. I watched him beat up uh, Jesse Vargas. I'm talking about where Jesse Vargas looked like the elephant man inside the uh, locker room. Yeah, and he after and he let fight. Jesse Vargas off the off the hook in that fight too. Yeah, yeah. So so Mikey is a bad boy. So you know, uh, that's something that we're moving towards at, at 140. Maybe looking to challenge him. You know, uh, a, a fight. Okay, I, that you know. that sounds great. That that is honestly, uh, cause I mean, you're, it doesn't seem that he's gonna get any work at 135. It seems like people are gonna continue to just Twitter beef, and it's never gonna happen. And I mean, with the situation with Ryan, I thought Ryan was gonna take the opportunity to be great and fight Haney for it to be a great, a big matchup. I think that would have. Uh, the, all the other things that are going on in boxing, I felt like that would have been a good fight to save, you know, the year you can say, but it doesn't seem like he's not going to fight until God knows when. And I'm just glad, you know, Haney is out here putting it on and trying to get the fights because he is a great fighter and I'm glad you're pushing him to be great. Thank you, my brother. 
All right. Much love to everybody on the panel. I got to go back to work before I get fired. <laughs> All right. Too. Spotlight, hurry up, bro. Get back. Yeah, no, <laughs> me too, black and blue. You heard, heard it from, from the man, man himself. himself. He doesn't want him to fight Mikey, but... As we all know, Devin Haney wants to be great. And before I continue the video, shout out to Black and Brown Boxing for letting me jump on the panel and ask my questions. Always, always a cool, cool dude. dude. Always showing me love. Make sure to subscribe to his channel. I'll leave a link with one of his videos on this video. Man, it's always a pleasure to jump on there. And he's a really cool dude. Like I said, one of the one of the truest out here has a lot of passion for boxing. And that's where, as a boxing junkie, I love to, you know, I love subscribing to those channels because you get that fire, you get that, you get that ambition, and you get that energy, man. I love that energy. But back, back to, to this video, video about the no one wants now. That's the WBC belt. It seems like to be undisputed, at 135, you have to have five belts. That's including the franchise belt. So it seems like you have to have the regular title and, and the, the WBC, WBC franchise, franchise belt, belt to, to be undisputed. undisputed. If that wasn't the case, then we wouldn't be asking for a Haney and Teofimo Lopez fight. Since Haney is a regular champion and Teofimo is the franchise champion. This is where it gets a little tricky. A lot of people call Teofimo undisputed. I, I personally, personally think, think he, he is. is. Why? Because he, he, be uh, he beat Lomachenko. But the thing is that the franchise belt holds no weight to a lot of the other sanctioning bodies. So when he becomes undisputed, he would have to take on, on Devin, Devin Haney. Haney. That's where the dilemma goes into play. And it's just, it's just a bunch of... I feel like the franchise belt is just a money grab to get sanctioning fees. And so to leave the regular belt there and put the franchise belt to Supreme Champion to make him the one that represents at, at 135, 135 is just, just a money grab, man. That's all it is. And I don't blame the fighters. I honestly don't. I mean, each fighter goes in there and risks his life, and then he has to deal with being called undisputed or not undisputed, and, you know, all these other variables that kind of take away from the man's legacy. So i rather just get into why this belt, no, no one wants, wants it. it. No, no one, one wants, wants to, fight to fight for it. No one wants to go on there and be like, challenge Devin Haney. Maybe it's not worth it to them, and their eyes since holding that belt seems, seems like, like it holds, holds no, no weight. weight. In my opinion, this is all I'm the way I'm looking at it as a spectator. It seems like no one wants to go after that belt. It is tarnished or it's just the fighter that has it. Devin Haney is it's a tough, tough fight, fight for, for anyone. anyone. He gets in there and he just, you know, he's a technician. He picks his shots. He knows where to land. He knows how to score. He may not have the heavy hands that a lot of other fighters do, but he, he can, can pick, pick you, you apart. apart. Now with the Mikey Garcia fight, it seems like this would be a good look because Mikey can do the same thing. Both of them are great technicians at picking fighters apart. These are the things that I would love to see in a fight. And I don't think Mikey Garcia would back down from that. You know, no, he, he said, said he, he talked, talked to Eddie, Eddie Hearn. Hearn. So if this fight does come to fruition, I, I hope, hope it, it does, does happen by this year. And if it doesn't, I just hope both of these men get back in the ring soon. Both of them are great fighters. Um, both of them are great champions. And they've always shown that they can, you know... Go, go in there and, there and put, put on, on a show, show for, for the, the people. people. And that's what a lot of people want to see. And, man, shout out to Bill Haney for answering the question. Shout out to Devin Haney for, you know, coming out here and wanting to fight and just wanting to be great. And it doesn't seem like no one wants to step in the ring with him. That's what it seems like. If it's not, I don't, I'm not saying any fighter is scared of Devin, Devin Haney. Haney. I'm just saying that no one wants to step in the ring with him. And that, those are facts there, all right? So, like I said, shout out to Black and Brown Boxing. Shout out to my sisters in Berkeley. Shout out to all my people in Sacramento. Shout out to my C57 people, you know? And shout out to everybody else who's listening, all my new subscribers. subscribers. I'm going to make, make sure, sure to, to keep, keep bringing you videos, videos and um, keep, you know, trying to get bigger interviews. I'm going to see if I can land a couple more interviews and talk to certain boxers because that's where it's at. When you get someone's opinion personally, Personally from them then you can build off of that and that's exactly what i'm doing so i hope this devin haney and mikey garcia fight does happen 
If it doesn't happen, I just like I said, I just want to see him back in the ring. Much love to everyone. Peace.